What is up, YouTube? Uh, Anthony with the Springs team. Want to get a video out. I know I apologize. It's been a while since we've gotten a video on and uh, for good reason. But definitely wanted to get something out today. Just something quick uh, with an update on how things are going for us. Uh, again, my wife Melissa is not going to be on this one because it's just going to be uh, me giving a quick update to, to how our real estate journey is developing, how things are going, and how things are working out so far this year for us. So um, I do have a, a timeline that I'm going to share here and then just kind of talk through what's been, how things have been taking place and how smoothly or not uh, things have been going for us. Uh, we're definitely going to create a video with more detail uh, and I'll kind of follow up on that here in a second. But just this timeline of how things have been going for us so far, essentially this year. All right. So quick timeline of events. Uh, we rented out our home December 23rd found a tenant who started renting on a six-month lease starting December 31st. Uh, we, in the meantime, moved to an apartment and started looking for our first property. Uh, we went under contract on that property March 9th. Uh, this property being a fourplex, it had three units, or excuse me, three tenants in place, one on a still under a lease, the other two on month to month. We ended up closing on that property April 8th, and uh, it was a FHA loan, so we have to occupy in 60 days, but the vacant unit was one of the nicer units, so we actually put that on the market, rented that out April 20th there, and then uh, we extended one of the month-to-month -month tenants and then noticed the other the vacate. So um, I mean, currently on that one, we got one great tenant, two good tenants, and all rents are current, so things are going well there. Now, uh, lo and behold, not much uh, later after that, on the 15th, our realtor kind of brought another property to our attention, and now we're under contract on that one as of the 23rd. Uh, we do need to sell our home to be able to uh, get into this property because it's a conventional loan. We'll need the full 20%, but um, that means we're going to need a uh, extended close on this one, and so we're looking to close first week in July. So that's a little look at uh, what's been going on and why we've been so busy and uh, slacking on the videos, to be honest. But um, I mean, it's exciting, right? Um, some of the things that have been a little bit different than, than expected. Obviously, uh, the timeline is moving faster uh, than we anticipated. The original video we put up, the, the 2021 house hack game plan, didn't have us getting into a property until mid-August, I believe. And now we're potentially going to have two properties in early July. So that's definitely moving a little faster than expected. But, I mean, not complaining as long as uh, the loans are able to be approved. And we've been, we've been in a, our financial situation has been enough to support that uh, moving at this pace. So um, it, it's been a good thing. But... Uh, another thing that's a little bit different is the order the loans we're using. Originally, we were going to look at using a VA loan to start and then a conventional loan as second property and FHA on the third. We actually ended up starting with the FHA loan uh, because of the time constraints with the VA loan. And uh, being that we had one under VA, but we couldn't essentially sell or get it out of that until July. But obviously, if we use the FHA, it allows us to make a, make a move on the property in March. So we started with the FHA and we'll now use the conventional loan here next. And then at that point, have the VA as an option still for us, which we are considering. Um, it, it'll give us an option. Again, We with the FHA loan, we have to be in this current property for a year or so uh, through uh, March 2022. And at that point, we can decide whether we want to move in and occupy one of the units uh, on this current property we're looking at if we end up closing because it's a bigger property, it'll fit our family a little bit better, or we can leave that as a, a non-occupied investment and look at using a VA loan to get into uh, a property. We'd be looking at a home, an older home, with a cottage in the back that we could use for um, short-term rental Airbnb style income. So we'd actually end up having eight doors as far as the two fourplexes and then uh, a, a cottage, an Airbnb cottage on top of that, which would set us up pretty well going forward. Uh, another thing that was not exactly the plan was that uh, we initially planned on using a property manager for these, um, but after some, our realtor kind of convinced us to give it a go, um, it's actually worked out pretty well uh, self-managing at this point uh, or using a software, um, a property management software, avail.co, 
Uh, it's been surprisingly good. Uh, we almost were able to get away with, it's free for landlords, we were almost able to get away without subscribing at all, but I did so just to uh, put my own personal touches on the lease and customize some of the language there. So um, again, just wanted to get this video out, um, just an update, quick video. Uh, we will definitely get something where I sit down with my wife again and we get in a little bit more detail um, and kind of discuss maybe the differences between the first and the second loan and some of the hurdles and then some of the myths as well. Some things that we were told that we couldn't do that we are actually doing now. So uh, again, Anthony with the uh, Springs team, hope you guys are doing well. Hope everybody's taking advantage of kind of the season we're in and uh, not just, you know, letting kind of the naysayers and uh, those doubters keep you from making the moves that could change your life. So anyway, take care. See you next time.